This is a gyroplane. You can say, this is a mixed version of a fixed-wing airplane and a helicopter. But, it is a simple and easy flying machine, which can fly safely at low air speed. Let's see how it works with 3D animation. A small gyroplane is built on an airframe. It's the main structure, which holds everything. Three small wheels are fitted as landing gears. One at front and two on the sides. Here, it is a tricycle-like wheel arrangement. Front wheel can be non-steerable, but it easily self-aligns in the direction of motion due to high positive caster angle. A nice suspension setup offers smooth landing experience. A gyroplane is mainly powered by propeller thrust. An automotive type or reciprocating type aircraft engine can be used to drive the back propeller. This is a four-cylinder boxer engine. Generally, boxer-type engines have good self-balancing characteristics. Propeller rotates and produces forward thrust. Pushes the gyroplane forward at high speed. A vertical stabilizer with a rudder surface is installed behind the propeller. Rudder is operated with paddle control. When the left paddle is pushed forward, the rudder turns left. Now, generated aerodynamic force makes a flying gyroplane yaw to the left side. Conversely, when the right paddle is pushed forward, the rudder turns right, so gyroplane yaws to the right side. Also, tilting these paddles forward activates the respective side wheel brake. On ground, a gyroplane run on wheels using propeller thrust. If right side wheel brake is applied, then this wheel slows down. This differential force helps to make a sharp right turn. A gyroplane use helicopter like top rotor wings to produce lift force to fly. But it is simple in design, and interestingly, during flight, it's not powered by the engine. A rotor disc is fitted on the tower head. This teetering hinge allows the wing set to flap on both sides. Unlike a helicopter swash plate mechanism, here, the tower head can be tilted forward, backward, right, and left for cyclic control. If this cyclic stick is tilted backward, these two linked rods are pulled forward with this action, which pulls these two actuator tubes down. This action tilts the rotor tower head backward. Tilting cyclic stick to the right makes the right side actuator tube go down and left side tube go up. This movement tilts the rotor tower head to the right side. Conversely, when the stick is tilted left, right side actuator tube goes up and left side tube goes down. This action tilts the tower head to the left side. So, engine thrust control, cyclic stick, and rudder are the primary control systems on a gyroplane. Propeller thrust pushes the gyroplane forward, but top wing blades rotate automatically using the relative airflow, like a pinwheel rotates in the wind. Or more specifically speaking, the autorotation technique. The same technique used in helicopter to land safely after engine failure. For that, airflow should be from below, towards the wing blade. This is called, upwash wind. In simple words, when a wing blade is rotating at a certain RPM, wing point A covers more distance than point B. So the linear speed of wing section A will be higher than point B section of the wing. So at point B, relative airspeed will be less compared to point A. Upwash and rotational relative airflow develops a resultant relative wind. It makes high angle of attack with wing section cord line. As a result, generated lift force direction is tilted forward. So, its forward component helps the wing to rotate faster. This section is called, driving region of the wing. At point A, 
rotational relative airspeed is much higher. With upwash wind, resultant relative airflow develops lesser angle of attack with the wing section cord line. Here, generated lift force direction is not tilted forward that much. But significant upward lift force helps the gyroplane to float in the air. That's why this section is called the driven region of the wing and also near the center of the blade, suffers aerodynamic stall due to low rotational relative airspeed and high angle of attack. Practically, propeller thrust pushing the gyroplane forward, and rotor tower head slightly back tilted position, allows more relative upwash wind to the wing blades. This rotates the wings, and generated lift force makes it fly. A fixed-wing airplane needs to achieve high speed on the runway, so wings can generate enough lift force to take off. But, a gyroplane actually needs its wings to rotate faster, to take off. A gyroplane can cheat this process cleverly. A pre-rotator system can help to build up initial rotor speed, and shorten the takeoff run. When the pre-rotator system is engaged, this Bendix drive pushes the pinion gear up with slight rotation. This helps to mesh well with this larger ring gear. At the other end, power is drawn from the engine and sent via this flexible drive system. Now, pinion drives the ring gear and helps to build up initial rotor RPM. Once rotor RPM reaches to certain limit, Pilot disengages the pre-rotator system, increases propeller thrust, and applies more aft cyclic to get more upwash wind to the wing blades. This helps to achieve operating RPM quickly, and the gyroplane takes off. Adjusting forward to aft cyclic and increasing propeller thrust increases relative airflow and upwash wind. So lift force increases and a gyroplane gains altitude. Applying right cyclic makes it turn right. Also, and applying left cyclic helps to take left bank turn. For example, when the rotor tower is tilted to the right, initially the rotating wings will try to remain horizontal. To do so, here the teetering hinge allows the blade to flap. So, blade angle also remains neutral at 3 o'clock position. But, here the rotor head rotational axis is tilted to the right. So, when this wing rotates from 3 o'clock to front, the wing blade pitch angle will increase automatically. At the same time, other blades pitch angle will decrease at 6 o'clock position. Positive pitch angle means, high force, this will try to flap up this wing, and due to gyroscopic precession, maximum upward deflection will occur 90 degrees later, at 9 o'clock position. At the same time, the negative pitch angle will try to flap down the other wing blade, and maximum downward deflection will be 90 degrees later, at 3 o'clock position. This is how. Wing's rotation axis self-aligns with the rotor head's axis. Changes in aerodynamic force helps the gyrocopter to make a right bank turn. Reducing forward speed and aft cyclic will reduce lift force. Thus, a gyroplane can perform a normal landing like an airplane. Or cutting off the throttle, it can go for auto-rotation landing with high flare. So a gyroplane can land easily on rough surfaces, or within small areas. A simple rotor brake system can prevent unwanted rotation of the wing. This helps to taxing through narrow space on the ground. Wing surface area is small, so it gets less affected by crosswinds and bad weather. While flying, the top rotor is not powered by the engine, so there is no counter torque, that's why a gyrocopter or gyroplane is not fitted with tail rotor, like most helicopter used to counter the torque. A gyroplane can fly at slower speed, 
Thus, it offers great aerial view to the pilot and passenger. That's why gyroplanes are easy to master, and mostly used for recreational flight. This is a simple 3D representation of how a gyroplane works. This project took more than a month of work to present to you. You can support my work by pressing the like button and sharing this video link with others. It will help me produce content in future. Thank you for watching.